Hey guys, let's talk about this mole project. Check out this example problem I have. If I had one mole of marbles, how many times could they fill Lake Grapevine? Had to do some background research in order to figure this out. We're all going to start with one mole of some crazy silly object. So just pick something random. You can pick hairbrushes. You can pick dominoes. I don't care. Pick something weird. Pick an object. Then you need to pick some ginormous thing that you're going to try to do with your object. And so I said picking a distance is kind of boring and you're not going to get full points for that. Pick something a little bit harder like an area or a volume or a mass or something like that. And so I chose the volume of Lake Grapevine. So I got online, went to Wikipedia because everything there is true, and I found us the, the volume of Lake Grapevine. 223 million meters cubed of water. That's a lot of water, folks. Then I had to do some background information and find out the volume of a marble. I used four thirds pi r cubed, knowing that my marble was one and a half centimeters wide. If you wanted to bring your object to class next week, I can have some graduated cylinders available and you too can come up with the exact volume of your object. If you've got a way to do water displacement at your house, power to you, you can find your volume that way. So. I'm ready to get started. We're all going to start our problem with one mole. So you're going to start your train track. In your first box, everybody should write one mole of whatever. My whatever was marbles. Then, don't forget, whatever is up here has to go down here. See some weird stuff? Make sure moles of marbles comes down here. Well, what do we know about moles of marbles according to our research up above? We know that one mole of marbles is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd marbles. So I got lots of marbles. My moles cancel out. At this point, what we're trying to end up with is we're trying to get to meters cubed. And so Right now, I'm in marbles. So then you have to ask yourself, what do I know about a marble? According to my research, I know that one marble is equal to 1.77 centimeters cubed. That's the volume of my marble. Marbles are gone. Now I'm in centimeters cubed, which is my volume. I come down here. Centimeters cubed has to go on the bottom. And I'm trying to turn that into Lake Grapevine's unit, which is meters cubed. Now, this is a new step. We've never had anything cubed before. So, what do we know? We know that 100 centimeters is equal to 1 meter. However, 100 centimeters cubed is not equal to 1 meter cubed. So you're going to have to do one of two things. You're going to have to go up into your track right here, and you can plug in these numbers if you want to, but you're going to need a cube on the 100 and a cube on the 1. Or you can go into your calculator, which I suggest, and type in 100 cubed, and you find out that that is 1 million. Six zeros. So 1 million centimeters cubed is equal to, and if we did our 1 cubed, of course, it's still 1 meter cubed. So this bottom value really is the best thing to plug into our train track here. We love scientific notation, so we're going to take this value we're going to plug it in as 1 times 10 to the 6th centimeters cubed is equal to 1 meter cubed. So a million centimeters cubed is equal to 1 meter cubed. So if you had a box that was 1 meter by 1 meter by 1 meter, you'd need a million little cubes to fill it up. That's what we just said. 
So centimeters cubed now goes away. You are in meters cubed. So we're going to drop down meters cubed and say, what are we trying to figure out here? Well, we know that 223,400,000 meters cubed is equal to one lake. So the meters cubed cancel, and now I've got the number of lakes. So we're going to solve this at this point. After I type all of this into my calculator, I wish you could see the screen right now, it is about 4.7 billion. 4 billion, 769 million, 650,850.492390. Whoo, crazy. All right, yes, we started with one sig fig all the way down at the end. And so, I am okay with up to three sig figs on your answer. So I'm going to put mine in three sig figs just so you can see how big this number is and we're not rounding too terribly much. So it looks like this. 4.77 times 10 to the ninth. Since I moved my decimal nine times, here's my calculator answer. 4769650 850.492390. It's a big number. So 4.77, move the decimal nine times, times 10 to the ninth lakes. So effectively, what does this mean? If I had a mole of marbles, I could fill Lake Grapevine 4.77 billion times. That's how big a mole is. And if you remember the project title was, how big is a mole? Did I give people a visual to show them how big the number is? Absolutely. I'm going to put colors and graphics and cute little things on my poster so people can really get a visual. Um, but that effectively is how you answer that question. Make sure to include all of your resources. I was on several different websites. I would put that on the back of my poster. I would put all of my research findings like the volume of a marble and the volume of Lake Grapevine on the front of my poster. Make sure your name and class period is on the back. So if you know enough to go forth and be dangerous, feel free and do that. I've got another example if you'd like to stick around and watch. Now if I had a mole of marbles, how many times could I cover the state of Texas? That's one question. If you wanted to make it really great, you could say to a depth of how much. And so we're going to start off the problem in a very similar way. We're all starting with one mole of your object. My object is still marbles. And I know that one mole of marbles is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd marbles. Marbles are gone. Moles of marbles are gone. Now we've just got the number of marbles. So what do I know about my marbles? According to my research, again, up at the top, I know the volume of a marble, but if I'm trying to find surface area, I really don't need the volume of the marble yet. I really just need what is the area of a marble. So I pretty much need how much space does it take up if it was a flat object. So I need the area. Earlier I said my marble was 1.5 centimeters wide. So to find area, it's just length times width. So I have 1.5 times 1.5. And my calculator tells me that's 2.25 centimeters squared. So that's how much space my marble is going to take up when I lay it flat. Of course, there's going to be some space between marble one and marble two because it's a curved object. We're going to neglect that space because when you lay them down flat, there's no way to fill up that empty space because it's a curved object. So I know that one marble has a surface area of 2.25 
centimeters squared. So my marbles are gone. So I come down here and say, I'm trying to go from centimeters squared to miles squared for Texas. I don't know how to do that. But what I do know is know how to get from centimeters to meters and from meters to kilometers and from kilometers to miles. We'll worry about the squared part in just a second. So I'm going to put little squares on everybody. And then down below, I'm going to write what I know without the square. I know that 100 centimeters is a meter. Just like on the previous slide, now I have to square that. So I know that 100 squared is 10,000 centimeters squared. And that's equal to a meter squared. So I'm going to plug that in. One meter squared is equivalent to 10,000 centimeters squared. Then I come and I need to do the same thing with meters and kilometers. I know that there are a thousand meters in a kilometer. I'm going to square that number and I'm going to say one kilometer squared is the same as one million meters squared. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the end with kilometers and miles. You would need to use your conversion chart or look it up online and find out that 1.6 kilometers is equal to one mile. So we're going to plug in the one for the mile and then we're going to square our kilometers down here. 1.6 squared in our calculator gives us 2.56 kilometers squared. So at this point, all we've effectively done is changed our centimeters into miles. So if I had a mole of marbles, we're still talking about marbles, haven't even brought in the state of Texas yet. We know how many square miles of marbles we would have. If you're just curious, I just put it into the calculator. It's 529 trillion square miles of marbles, if we had a mole of marbles. But we would need to keep going. So I'm going to keep going down here. Your poster board is longer than my screen. And you would just do another track, which says, I know that one state of Texas is equal to 268,000 820 square miles. And so we would take our ginormous 529 trillion and we would divide that by the surface area of Texas, which is that big number. And my number is a little more reasonable on my answer. So I have only answered this first question up here at the top. How many times could I cover the state of Texas? And my answer is, if I did three sig figs, 1.97 times 10 to the ninth states of Texas. What does that mean? I could cover the state of Texas 1.97 billion times with a marble. That's crazy. So if we did this 1.97 billion times, let's see how deep our stack of marbles would take us. So if you think about it, this number up here represents how many times I can cover the state with marbles or it represents how many layers of marbles we would have, right? So 
Then we take our other information, which says that one marble has the height of 1.5 centimeters. And we say, okay, so that means each layer would be 1.5 centimeters thick. And that's pretty much it to extend our problem to the next level there. So we're going to take our huge 1.97 billion number and multiply it by 1.5. We would find out that it's 2.96 billion centimeters thick. Well, let's keep going because we don't really care about centimeters. They're too small. Let's change this into miles. So 100 centimeters is a meter. And a thousand meters is a kilometer. And 1.6 kilometers is a mile. Now I'm going to get some really good information that I can relate to. My centimeters go away, my meters and kilometers go away, and we type that into our calculator. Now this is a number you can relate to. If I had a mole of marbles and I covered the state of Texas 1.97 billion times. We would be covered in marbles to a depth of 18,468.75 miles deep. Would we be alive? No, we'd get squashed like a bug. So that is another way to take a project and really extend it and get some good information people can relate to. How big is a mole? Friggin' huge. So that's the whole point. Make your visuals cute and adorable. If you have any questions, we highly recommend do these problems ahead of time. Bring them to us on paper. Let us check them. And before you start your poster and have to start all over, we would hate for your math to be wrong because it's worth a lot of points. Have fun with this, play around, be silly, ridiculous, and we will see you in class this week. Happy long weekend. Bye.